It's me again, Gladys. I was sitting at my desk, grading papers, and grading my calculus papers. And they're easy to grade because these kids are so brilliant. And if they know exactly what they're doing, then it gets questioned. Oh, well, that's the way most people see it anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't realize it come out backwards, but it probably wouldn't matter anyway, unless you know how to do calculus, right? Well, this kid knew exactly what they were doing. There you go. So, so you'll know what they, see, they come right backwards too, work it right. Anyway, I got to thinking about something that just made me smile. Yesterday, I was teaching those old killer hard mixture problems to my freshmen. And, you know, being the good citizens we are, we try to teach them healthy habits and stuff like that. So I was talking to them about the popular fruit juices they get at their local department store. And using a big old system of equations, we figured out that it was just a little bit juice and a whole lot bad stuff like sugar and red dye and things like that. So I talked to them about a healthy diet. And I thought, hmm, I love hot dogs. I, I asked them, I said, do you eat hot dogs? They said, oh, I love hot dogs. I said, I do too. I know I shouldn't eat because they're bad for you. I said, but that's not as bad for you as potted meat. And one of them said, I love potted meat. It's like my favorite food in the world. I said, oh, how can you eat that stuff? He said, oh, I love it. I said, do you know what's in that pot of meat? He said, no, but it's good. I said, it's got beef lips in it. Beef lips. You like beef lips? He said, well, that's pretty good. I like it. Well, I thought, mm, beef lips, that's part of the cow, too. And then I remembered, I didn't tell my kids this because it was, it was just too funny. I knew I'd lose it and I couldn't continue being serious and finish my class. But my mom told me that when they were young, that they ate every part of the animal except the moo of the cow and the squeal of the pig. It was the funniest thing I'd ever heard, and I got to thinking about that. You know, she's right. I mean, and if you're hungry, you'll eat just about anything. And if you grow up, if you grew up in the depression, you know, the food was sometimes hard to come by. Um. Anyway, um, uh, I got to thinking about that, and something else popped in my mind. And it was when I went to my grandmother's house and somebody had killed some squirrels and given them to her and she just loved squirrels. She said, you wanna eat with me? And I said, okay. I said, what are we having? And she said, I'll show you. She lifted the lid on that pot. Oh, it traumatized me. It just traumatized me. There was a squirrel in that pot, and it still had a head on it, and its eyeballs, and I could see its teeth, and it was looking at me. I was like, oh my gosh. I said, aren't you supposed to take the head off? Oh, she said, no, honey. My favorite part of the whole squirrel is its brains. I'm like, oh, you're going to eat its brains? They said, yeah. So she got her squirrel out and she laid that thing on her plate. She said, you want some of this? I said, no, 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 no. So the first thing she did was reach up and break off the head of that squirrel, held that thing in her hand, and then took a spoon and hit it on the head and cracked its skull. And held it up and sucked its brains out. I thought, this is a science fiction movie. I was traumatized. It just absolutely traumatized me. I'll never forget it. I don't think I could eat a squirrel if I had to. Well, I don't know.
know. I've never been in that situation. I guess time will tell. Anyway, I got to get back to grading my papers. I just thought that was kind of funny, and I caught my mind wandering. Uh, I'm glad I caught it. <laughs> Bye.